What is going on guys? Kevin over at Lake Rose coming at you with everybody's favorite day, mini haul day. <laughs> we have a whole mess of things on the desk today, uh, which we will be going through. Uh, these are little hauls that wouldn't subsequent to their own videos. And that's just what happens. Sometimes you get a whole bunch of little mini things and you just got to do them all at once. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm not going to look up prices because it takes too long to do that. Uh, I will be cutting some of them open. Some of them I have already opened. Uh, this first one was an eBay purchase. I do remember that I paid, uh, I think, $100 for this one. And I just had to get it because this one I never, ever find. And uh, sometimes you just want things in your store that you haven't found or aren't able to find. This is Sabine with her helmet. Look out, that helmet right now is like 125 bucks by itself. Uh, so that is absolutely fantastic to find her. It did come with her hair and her little pew pews as well. And that is a good way to start. That is a good way to start. I won't profit a huge amount on that, uh, but still will be profit. And profit is profit, right? Profit is profit. Sometimes getting a, a fig that you haven't had in a long time in your store is just worth it, just for the fun of it. Uh, this one looks like it was a little mini Ninjago haul. These little tiny hauls kind of have a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, we have a whole bunch of them. If you're not in Ninjago, just stay tuned or skip through this part because uh, we have plenty of stuff coming, I can tell you that. We have Nauticon, which is a fantastic $35 to $40 fig right there. Uh, Cryptor, a good nice little ting right there as well. Digi uh, Lloyd. Final Battle Zane is a great one to find. I always need that guy for my uh, Final Battle completion sets. This one is Deep... Not Deep Stone. Uh, man, I'm trying to remember what that one is called. Uh, I always forget what that one is called. Uh, Lloyd, or sorry, Lloyd. Cole, now I'm off to a, now I'm off to a good start. <laughs> you have Disguise Zane, I think is what that one is. That is Deep Stone right there. Uh, version of Cole right there. We do have uh, Lloyd in kind of an interesting form. I don't remember what that form is called. Uh, there is just the ZX version of him, which is a fantastic find right there. Actually can kind of go into the ting pile now. Deep Stone Lloyd right there. We do have the Jungle Robes version of Cole. Uh, two little ghost guys. This is Pirate J, which is kind of an interesting fig. The Skybound version of him. And of course, put the head on and everything. Wait, wait for it. That's, I think, the movie version of Woo. Uh, this guy's... Who's, who's got a mustache? Oh, this is the version that has a must... Or a must... This is not called a mustache. That's a mohawk. It starts with an M, but they're two different words. Uh, once you get going, your brain starts just doing things, man. Uh, there's the Ninjago monkey as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, so some Ninjago wins right there. Next up, we do have a single fig haul. This one was $100 as well. Nope, never mind. This was a different one. Uh, this one, I think, was $30, to be honest. Uh, and this is just your everyday average Captain Rex. Cracked torso, but who cares, right? <laughs> that torso is easy to get. Uh, and uh, the helmet and the head is the only thing I worry about at all. And those look like they are in pretty good shape. That one might be slightly yellowed, but for the price that I got it, I don't really care, to be honest. That is Captain Rex. And he is now going up and up and up and up. Uh, I don't even remember when the last time I priced him out, but it was like 120 bucks, which is crazy to think I was selling this guy for $20. When I first started this game, I sold so many Rexes for 20 bucks. It was absolutely insane. Uh, but who knew, right? Who knew? And uh, that money went to getting more stuff. So you can never be sad about those kind of things. You got market value. And as long as you're getting market value, you're doing well in business because you never understand or know what's going to happen in the future. Nobody can tell the future. So uh, for the people that held on, congrats. But, you know, <laughs> we had a business to run. So we had to sell those Rexes for 20 bucks in order to get more Rexes to sell for 20 bucks. See how that works? Uh, what was this one? This is an interesting little haul. No idea what's in here. I'm guessing it probably was not very expensive, uh, but we don't know. There's a series, I think, Skater or something like that. We have two series Eskimos. That guy's got a spear. We do have two of the uh, mummies, which are kind of cool. That's actually pretty good, actually. Uh, a pirate. We have the alien queen, I think is what this one is, which is probably why I got the lot. That's a nice solid ting right there. Uh, another one of those uh, pirates. We do have a Bespin guard, a uh, zombie from Pirates of the Caribbean, and then a series biker, I think is what that one is, and also a uh, red coat. 
or Imperial guy. Uh, and then some, also some of these. <laughs> Believe it or not, these are 50 cents a piece. So, I mean, come on, that adds up. <laughs> Always need minifigure stands. Uh, next one is from my friend Brick Scavenger. This one is actually a relatively new haul. Uh, he started playing games again over on Whatnot. Again, link description. Uh, this one was the triathlon. He actually started doing games again, so he had uh, tiles instead of prizes, and I just had to get my hands on one of the printed tiles. Uh, my pick two to play the game was, of course, our uh, Kid Lloyd and also our Golden Lloyd, which are great finds. But more importantly... <laughs> <laughs> I got third place in the triathlon, which is pretty good. I think there's like 12 people competing, so that's not bad. That's not bad. And I got a printed tile, which I will keep forever, uh, which is always great. Always great. Uh, go ahead and check him out over on Whatnot. He does a fantastic job. Uh, I just realized just now that I had forgotten, as I trail off my voice, my knife. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab that right there. Okay. Uh, almost sliced the bag. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, this one was interesting. <laughs> from Bricks and Minifigs, huh? That was, this is from Whatnot. It's not from Bricks and Minifigs, but this was from, um, Mark Vargas? I don't know. I'm trying to remember what his username was. Uh, we have two, ver two, um, what are these? I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. But two Ninjago figs, uh, with the crazy hairpiece. We have a ZX, uh, Lloyd, which we already put down here. Uh, these were all super duper cheap. Ninjago on whatnot is always a great deal for me. I find all sorts of stuff there. Uh, we have Cryptor as well. Uh, I think this was a Ninjago only stream, to be honest. Uh, and then we also have a uh, Golden Kai. I think this was I think this guy was like a buck uh, or something like that. So I will do uh, tremendously uh, on that one. All right. Uh, next one is also from whatnot. This is from my friend Quinn Builds over on whatnot. Uh, this was just a single win. I only won one thing, and I don't think it cost me very much, to be honest. No, it cost me a little bit. 20 bucks. Uh, but this one, if you know, you know. Uh, there's another sticker from them as well. Look at all these stickers I got. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is one of the first knights ever made because he belongs to the Yellow Castle. And he has a visor piece that they stopped making. The old gray visor and this red visor piece, or sorry, old gray helmet and this red visor piece that they don't make anymore. Look at that beauty. Look at that guy. These knights are all really, really good, especially if you have their helmets and their shields and, the, and their armor and everything. Uh, but that is fantastic. I did need the red visor, I believe, for my castle uh, that I have in my personal collection. So that was another reason to, uh, to unload on that one. Plus 20 bucks is a steal. Uh, all right, this one was just a little tiny Star Wars haul. Uh, I think I probably paid about 20 bucks for this one as well. And this doesn't have much in it, but it does have quite a few, you know, things that I would always take. <laughs> we have two of the red ARF troopers right here, which are both fantastic. This one, guys, this guy needs to get cleaned up a little bit, uh, but I'll do that. We also have a Bark Trooper legs with a uh, Scout Recon episode three fig, uh, or clone trooper, I should say. Here's another regular uh, ARF, and then a shock trooper from episode three, which are harder and harder and harder to find. Uh, so all of those will go down there. Uh, I guess we can keep their blasters over here or something like that. Uh, moving right along. Moving right along. It is small haul day. We do this pretty frequently, because a lot of things that you find are not gigantic hauls. They're just little tiny hauls. Uh, sorry, I don't know pricing. It just, it takes too long when there's so many of them. Uh, and looking it up beforehand also takes so long. So. <laughs> just, just know that I didn't pay much for any of these things. Um, and if I do know, I'll tell you, of course. Obviously. This looks like it's all Star Wars, which is pretty good. We have our Transformation Vader. There's our first Phase 2 version of that helmet, I think. Uh, we have a Destroyer droid right there. Uh, times 2. Looks like most of these are parts and pieces. There is another one of our episode three friends and then a kind of a rare uh, green neck piece right there as well, which is actually kind of neat. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And a uh, super valuable Slave Leia body. <laughs> that goes to the $100 plus Slave Leia. Uh, and so we'll put that together. Hopefully, I think I have some hair pieces and stuff like that, which is why I pulled the trigger on this one. Uh, episode three fig right there. 
uh, trooper anyway. Republic trooper, we have a sand trooper, kind of a dirty pauldron, unfortunately. Uh, the Padawan version of um, Obi-Wan. Always need reddish brown torsos that aren't cracked. We'll make an Ewok out of that for sure. Uh, there is an old Darth Vader torso right there. We have Maz Kanata's head, bomb squad legs. There's a clone pilot. If you know, you know on those guys as well. They've gone up and up and up. Uh, ATSD pilot. We have the man, the myth, the mustache himself right there. Uh, Commander Gree. Pieces of Commander Gree anyway. We have an ARC trooper and old... Obi, old Luke, the old Luke face, one of the first versions of his pilot form. Uh, we have Grievous Torso. I have plenty of those, unfortunately. Uh, and that's about it. Rebel Friend, some usable parts and pieces from the Star Wars genre. We'll try to keep these somewhat separated. I don't have to separate them again if I don't need to. Uh, we are getting down to it. We have a couple boxes and an envelope left here. Let's see what this one is from. Um... <clears throat> Looks like probably eBay. It's in a bag. It's in a bag. Very large bag. Interesting. Wonder what we have in here. <laughs> I wonder what we have in here. I wonder <laughs> what we have in here. We might have to look up this one. Maybe we'll look up some at the end. And you guys who really want to know. You guys can stay till the end. <laughs> here, let's move these down here. You can still see them. Uh, give ourselves some... I don't know why that guy made it. How'd that guy make it down there? Uh, this is a great haul. This looks good. I like this stuff. I like all of this stuff. Uh, first off, bang, Violet from The Incredibles. That's the one you want right there. Uh, we also do have a Indiana Jones uh, guard. He is loosey-goosey, though. <laughs> that ain't good. Uh, and so, you know, we'll replace the parts and pieces of him. Uh, we have the um, Colonel. I'm trying to remember what his name was from Lone Ranger. Also a fantastic find right there. Two Praetorian guards. That ain't bad. We'll put those with the Star Wars. We do have Dash as well, the young boy from Incredibles. He's not as good as Violet. Uh, we do have Iron Man, which always goes down there just because. Uh, Steven Spielberg, the director. This one is the um, Max, but this orange or, or uh, lime suit is quite a bit more valuable than the other version. So that actually is a fantastic find right there uh, as well. We do have a little dwarf here from The Hobbit. I'm trying to remember what his name was, but I always forget. We also have our friend um, Bootstrap Bill from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the original, one of the original uh, Spider-Man figs. I have to research that one. Uh, this was the Underminer, I think is what this one's called or something to that effect from Incredibles. Not particularly super valuable on that one, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we have Tonto. This one is, I think from the Ladies of NASA, I wanna say. Research on that one too. I don't need to research Dash, I already know about Dash. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean again. We have a Utapau Airborne. Fantastic. Uh, there's just Owen. We do have a, uh, Orc or, what is that guy? That's a, it's a Gundabad Orc, right? From Lord of the Rings. Those are always good too. Uh, this guy, oh, this is another girl. Yeah. Uh, another girl from NASA, I think. So that, that could be the set from NASA. I don't know. The female, the women of NASA. I think is what that one was called. Uh, we have the original um, Redbeard, the original Gray Hook. That's a cool fig. Put that down there just for coolness. Uh, there's a just a regular Cole, ZX Cole. Uh, I always forget what that one's that one is. Not very, not super valuable though, to be honest. Uh, another Tonto right here. There's a Jurassic World fig, Harry Potter, nothing. Lucy. We have Patrick. Another Jurassic World fig, Jar Jar. Oh yeah. And David Jones. <laughs> if you forgot, David Jones is in there too. Look at that. And also the Incredibles dad. Look at that. We got three of the family. I guess we can put them together, right? Don't don't split them apart. They're not super valuable. Violet's the one you want. Uh, but uh, they ain't bad. They ain't bad. Uh, let's put that one there. And we can put that one there. And we'll scoop these guys up here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That one... Um, what was that one? That was this one, right? That one just came recently. 
I opened that before I would normally open things, I think. Um, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Sometimes you just, you know, you're already in the middle of it. Uh, this one is super cool as well. We already got a uh, knight. Where did he go? Was that the last video? <laughs> no, it was this video. Where'd he go? Oh, this guy right here. Uh, look at this. Look at this. This is not the whole set, but this is the instructions for the original castle and a whole bunch of old school, the very first knights that Lego ever made. This all kicked off just an insane castle craze. 375, the original Lego yellow castle. And look at these guys. Look at these guys. Uh, this I actually did have a red helmet in here. That's funny. Uh, this was back in the days when they had brick built horses, which I know you don't think that that happened, but it did. Brick built horses is what they rode. They did not even have a horse piece yet. Uh, they rode these things into battle. Look at all of these. They have their suits of armor and their shields in fantastic condition. Look at this guy. That shield comes with the set as well. Uh, he co corresponds with this dude who has the matching armor. All of these, I believe, not these guys, because these guys are a little bit cheaper, but all of the knights that go with the castle, I believe, are $50 and up, uh, each one of them. Uh, they each have their own little emblem, and <laughs> LEGO definitely doesn't do that anymore. They are stickers, though, which is why this is so much more impressive, uh, is that the stickers, this set, I don't even know how old this set is, but the stickers alone from this set are just so old. Look at that. We have a whole nother set of that guy. Um, we have this guy as well. He probably, let's see, he had the, can we look at it? He had the red. Okay. So this guy wears that same red visor we saw on this night right here. Look at that. Look at that. This stuff just, oh my gosh. Look at how good these stickers are though. These are stickers. <laughs> like... Come on now. Uh, another one of these dudes. So they had the procession. As you can see, it was like the guy on the horse and then his little buddy uh, down here that kind of walked alongside him. Uh, we also have this one as well that probably goes along with this helmet. I don't see his helmet though, uh, but he probably has the gray. And then we also have a couple pieces uh, of the castle as well, along with a couple knights. Uh, but look at these. I actually already have these in good condition, so I don't know what I'll end up doing with these. Maybe I'll see which ones are better condition for the castle that I actually have. Uh, I have one in box that has great looking stickers, but look at these. These are so valuable because this set itself was, what, 50 something years old? I can probably take a look here uh, right now. Let me try to pull that up. Yellow. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, nope. <laughs> I guess I probably just get it in the set number, right? Uh, three, seven, five. Set. There we go. So each of these stickers is, is uh, fantastic. So this is 1978. 1978. Let's do some quick math here. 1978. 45 years old are all of these stickers. No chance. Look at that. I saw this thing come up and I was like, yep, that one is mine. <laughs> I don't remember what I paid for it, but not near what this stuff is worth. We also have the original string drawbridge uh, as well. Holy cow, that is super cool. We're not even done. We're not even done. We got another set of knights down here as well. I mean, I can't do knights after those knights, right? <laughs> uh, this is, there's nothing super spectacular other than this one, uh, which is, let's put this up here so you guys can keep staring at it. 1978, these knights came from. Come on, now. who's doing it for you? We got Star Wars and 1978 knights. Look at this. Turned out to be a pretty long video, but sorry about that. Uh, let's see. We got some cool Dragon Knights in here. That pearl dark gold. What you're looking for, I think I saw it, is this one. And secrets are the single Dragon Knight. Double dragons, single dragon. 75 bucks. 75 bucks for that knight right there. 
Uh, all the other knights are actually fantastic as well. We will do quite well with these. We do a game over on Whatnot about building knight armies, and it's just super fantastic and fun. People have a great time with it, and uh, we will do all sorts of fun things with all of these knights. So that's really cool. I'm trying to see if there's anything super spectacular. Uh, there's a blacksmith in here, which could be cool. Here's our uh, here's our wolf pack guy. There's our favorite uh there's another wolf pack guy the print on these absolutely gorgeous old crusader knights you i mean these things are probably 30 years old as well so the print on these things is fantastic to find like that there's the old gray breastplate right there all right we have another one here i won't spend too much time because those are just knights you know one knight is another knight uh we have one more package left i don't know what this one is it's actually pretty recent as well uh, usually I wait a little bit longer to open these kind of things nowadays, but uh, we'll just open it because I brought it over here and it's a small box. Not gonna, It's not going to do its own haul, so we might as well just uh, open it now. Um, this is why we open things off camera. Okay, what is it? What is it? It looks like one fig. Lots of wrapping. Oh, I don't even think this is one fig. Just says inside. <laughs> what would you do so much time for this? What would you pay like 50 bucks for? Oh, phase two Rex. Phase two Rex right there. Yep, that's going to be used. <laughs> the thing is so expensive nowadays, but uh, you know, if you need it, you need it. And that's, you know, I need it. So I don't like to sell him without it. And I have a, a couple to sell that I need one of these. I actually bought two of these. I found two of them on the market. I think they were like 50 bucks a piece, but I paid 50 bucks for a little piece of cloth, but it's in great condition. Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. This was an epic series of little tiny envelopes. Probably one of my favorite envelope unboxings ever, mostly because of this, but we had things like Davy Jones just chilling there in the middle of things. Uh, all sorts of great purchases uh, on this one. And uh, Old Knights, man, I can't get enough of Old Knights. I've, I've been getting Phase 2 Captain Rexes like crazy lately. Uh, let me see if I can find the the uh, Castle Hall here. And also the Davy Jones one um, to tell you guys what I paid for them. Uh, $150 is what I paid for that lot that had Davy Jones in it. And he alone is $150. So that is a great score right there. Uh, let's see, what else did we get? Where was our castle? Man, I buy so much stuff. <laughs> Guys, I have a problem. Um, oh, $99. We paid 100 bucks for the castle. That is well worth it. These instructions alone are probably super expensive, to be honest. They're not in fantastic condition, but man, these instructions alone are probably pretty expensive. And the knights, oh my, look at that. Brick built horses, isn't that crazy? The thing that started it off, 375. Wow, awesome video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys had some fun. We got everything, a little bit of things for everybody. So hopefully everybody had something they can enjoy. Lots of really great stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.